Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome to Sweet Transit. What Sweet Transit, I hear you ask? Well, this is the demo of an upcoming game which is going to be released on the 28th of July. Um, we've got the demo, you can go download the demo, but it is a limited time thing, so maybe when you're watching this it's not available. But there will be a link to the Steam store page where you can get the free demo from if it's still available. Now, uh, I have asked them for a key, and they've said they're going to uh, they're gonna try and sort something out, they can't promise. Uh, so I'm with the demo for now. Now, this does only unlock a certain amount of the game, uh, for obvious reasons, because if the demo contained all of the game, then uh, then that would be somewhat pointless buying the game, wouldn't it? But yeah, let's uh, let's dive straight in. I've had a brief look at the tutorial. I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll have a look at the tutorial. Oh no, sorry, I've had a look at the tutorial, so now let's start a new game. Now this is the map, um, you've got various different biomes with different things and stuff and whatnot. You can just shuffle this, you can click it, get a randomised map. One of them was actually the United Kingdom. Uh, you can choose whether you want a big map uh, or a huge map, you can kind of make a tiny map. So yeah, you, you can do that, that's not just zooming in and out, that is actually changing. Um, the size of your map. So we're gonna go for, uh, what was it, 64 it was, wasn't it? Great, click it a few more times, that'll do. We're on this map, which looks a bit like a volcano, doesn't it? It's probably not, but uh, but there we go. So, yeah, you've got different rules. Uh, so what about Europe? What's that? What's gonna happen with Europe? We'll just go with default, it's better. Oh, my volcano's gone. I, d I just want a 64 map. Oh, volcano's back now, great. You've got these things. I'm not going to play around with them because, uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to kind of play around with too much. So, uh, yeah, this game is still in development. There's a chance you may encounter some bugs. This is always at the bottom. Uh, any content shown in the demo is not the final version of the game. Going into early access might be subject to change. So, uh, yeah, here's our map. It's kind of cartoony, but if you zoom out, it's a little bit blocky. But if you look, I mean, look how, look how, like... Kind of big that is, and if you zoom out, you've got such an enormous world to play with. So um, I'm really excited. This is kind of like an open TTD, kind of like a machinky, kind of like a, you know, kind of. It's kind of a few different things, but this is primarily about running trains, building cities, running trains. So yeah, really, really excited about that. So first thing we need to do, uh, we've got a, a couple of things in the corner here. We need to build a warehouse, and then we'll unlock various things. So uh, a warehouse, apparently you can only have one of them. So it would make sense, wouldn't it, to kind of slap that uh, kind of in the middle of the map. Where's a warehouse? There's a warehouse. There we go. Warehouse. Ooh. Now we're in the warehouse. You store things that you've made. Kind of makes sense, really, doesn't it? So we have unlocked, what do we need to do now? A village hall. So the village hall, uh, everything kind of builds out from the village hall. It does, however, if we pop over here, uh, you see, that's not going to work because it needs to be near water uh, and this is not near water. So yeah, apparently the village hall needs to be near water. Uh, right, hang on. Yes, yeah, so if we if we just pop into, hang on, why, why is it not building? Why can't I build anything? Oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, it's because I'm so far zoomed out. You, you can't build things in map view. You can only build in this view. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, we'll build a village hall. I'm trying to build railways here. Uh, okay, so I'm still not very good at this. It's, it's been established. So, I can't build it there because the warehouse is too close. Uh, okay. No, it's... Uh, no, it seems to be letting me build a village hall even in the middle of nowhere. Who'd have thought? But uh, yeah, we're going to put the village hall near this water here, uh, Hanoi, uh, maybe not. Uh, we're going to change this because I don't like uh, the name Hanoi, I'm sure it's a great name. Uh, but this is going to be Rotherham. Who doesn't love Rotherham? It's the jewel in the crown that is South Yorkshire. Yeah, okay, so that's Rotherham. So, workers need a place to rest when they're not on the clock. The village needs residences to house workers and give them a life outside of work. Okay, yeah, we can do that. So we need to build some houses. Uh, yep, yeah, there's a couple of houses for you. Three, and... That'll do there. Is that three? Yeah, three on either side. That's quite a few. And, uh, and of course, we can build a road like that, look at that, and uh, back again, 
There we go. Rotherham has got some people living there. If we unpause it, there we go. Uh, yeah, seven people. And you can see them moving about. Look at that. They're, uh, they're there. Can we click each individual person? It does not appear we can. But we've got 12 labourers that live there. 19 of them. Quite a few. So, services influence happiness and productivity. For example, the water tower provides water, who'd have thought it, to nearby buildings if connected by a road. Remember, unhappy people will make unhappy workers. I mean, that kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? And unhappy workers will take longer to rest. Okay, so let's give them some water, because, you know, otherwise they'll die. And, uh, you know, normally it turns out that I loathe uh, my workers. Like on OMSI, I loathe my passengers. Uh, but, you know, on this, if they're not happy, they're gonna, they're gonna make my life more difficult. So we'll, we'll treat them with a little bit of respect. So we'll, uh, we'll get you on there. Okay, and apparently if you provide them with a good service, the houses can fit more people in. Don't ask me how that works, but apparently that's how it works. So, so yeah. Uh, so we've got some water, and we need to reach a hundred people living here. So, uh, yeah, okay. Now, uh, we might need to build a few more houses. Uh, house, 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 house. Nope, that's a village hall. Warehouse, nope, coal mine, nope. We're on industries, that's why. Uh, hang on, how do we do it? Cross you off. Logistics. Industries. No, I, I wanna... I've forgotten what I'm doing now. Logistics, <laughs> I don't know. I still don't really know what I'm doing. Ah, there we go. Uh, right, so you actually have to click the town. And then you can expand. Okay. Oh, look at this. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good at this already, as you can tell. Now, uh, we need 100. We've got 180 uh, residence things. Oh, we've got 180 sections of wood. We've got 80 there. Let's just pop you down there. Okay, you're going to use 50. Yeah. Okay. You're going to use 40. Right, we can't do that. 30? Yeah, we've got 30. Okay, so we'll just build the maximum we can. But that does mean we're out of wood. But, I mean, I, I think... I don't really know how... I'll build a road down there. Keep them all nice and connected. They all need water. Oh, crumbs, I've just realised. I might not be able to uh, get them all. Oh, yeah, we can get them all satisfied with a cheeky bit of water. There we go. So you can actually have breaks. If you look, there's uh, there's a break there from that water tower to that one. But that house is covered and, uh, and that house is covered. So it doesn't matter that this bit of road is empty. I mean, if I build a house here, then it won't be covered. But, uh, but yeah, as long as all the water is covered, uh, we've got 100 people. So that's good. Uh, we need to build a coal mine then. Uh, okay, yeah. So if I zoom out now, you can see that that is, that is coloured quite nicely. It's nice that it's colour-coded, isn't it? It's, uh, it's good. But what it does mean is when you really zoom down, uh, you can actually see where your resources are. So we've got what looks like, oh, if you click it, it tells you in the bottom corner. We've got a clay deposit. We've got coal flipping miles away from where I built my town. Oops. Uh, we've got, what's that? That's a bit of coal. So it seems to be either coal or clay. Those are your two, uh, two natural deposits, I guess. Timber is kind of like, because everywhere's wood, isn't it, here? Okay. Uh, so, we need some coal. Oh my goodness me, it's so far away. Uh, where is the nearest coal to the town? Uh, the nearest coal to the town is probably you. I mean, you might be closer, but we'd have to go around like that. Uh, Joe, you're built in a crap place. Right, well, it's going to have to be you. So, if we, if we just nip in a bit closer. Oh, there's two next to each other. Right, build a coal mine. Each village, warehouse and production facility needs stations in order to transfer goods between them. Build a station right next to the building. Can we have another coal mine? Oh, do you know what? We probably just don't need it yet. So, let's build a station. Now, uh, I don't actually know if we... We don't use R. Hang on. QRE. I don't actually know which way round it's meant to go. So, we'll just leave it that way. Station 0. Now, uh, yeah, it just names your stations for you. This is station zero. So this can be Rotherham Coal Mine. Can it? Yeah, there we go. Delete all of you. Rotherham. Which is quite apt, because there was a lot of coal mining in, uh, in Yorkshire, wasn't there, many years ago? Uh, so, Rotherham Coal Mine. And we also need to get a platform. So we'll uh, pop some platforms in. He says he's got absolutely no idea what he's doing. You have to click the station, that's why. So, station platform three and three. Lovely. 
Okay, so we've got Rotherham Coal Mine. Good. And uh, what do we need to do? We need to build a depot. But we need a station here as well. So uh, let's build a station. I mean, when you listen to the nice little music that we've got going on, it's quite a relaxing game, really. I mean, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So, I mean, can we can we get a nice... Ah, you, you can practically get everyone in the catchment circle there. Okay. If we pop you there, you are more or less getting everyone, aren't you? Uh, I mean, this is, of course, you know the name to this. Rotherham Central. There we go. Rotherham Central. I mean, it's just like the one in real life. There we go. So let's have a bit of... Oh, that's a bridge. Platform. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. So we're going to have a bit of track. The platform's built. A bit of track. I mean, I don't really know, kind of... I, I don't know if it's showing, but I am completely making this up as I go along. Uh, we'll get you round there. Then we go. We're going to do a U-turn. And, uh, and, and build you up there. And then you're going to come in. Oh, hang on. You can, you can actually... Oh, wow. You can build in a station. That's ace. Because obviously the track's separate to the platform, isn't it? So, yeah. Really, really pleased with that. So then if we just kind of drag you... Oh, past the warehouse. That's a good idea. Where's my station? And we only just drag you all the way. Oh, I don't like that. And then we just drag you all the way up to there. Sensible. Uh, yeah, round the other way. And we'll just drag you up there. So we'll make a nice little loop. Because uh, the trains don't flip. You know, like they do in, for instance, Transport Fever, or, of course, um, Open TTD. They don't flip, so you have to run the little loops around. Otherwise, you end up with the trains pushing the cargo, and it just doesn't look right. Just does not look right. Now, we need to build a depot. Uh, so, we shall build a depot, because I can do that. There we go. Train depot. Uh, we'll have you... I, I mean, how long are the stations? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the stations are eight long, so we'll build the depot to be eight long. Train depot times eight. Now you actually have to drag and like kind of the way you want to build the depot, because if you drag it the other way, if you look, there's the stairs there, so the trains will have to go out this way. So you drag the depot in the direction you want your trains to come out, which is a little bit weird. Uh, I can't say I'm fond of that feature, but, uh, but hey ho, it is what it is. So there you go, you can get into the depot, you can get out of the depot that way. Or that way, of course. Uh, so that's good. We've got Rotherham Coal Mine. And uh, I don't know if we have to do anything with signalling. I don't think we do. So, uh, yeah, produce coal. That's what we have to do. Now, you need people to produce coal. So we need to get this train going, don't we? Now we're going to have an ST10. Uh, I mean, that's the only train we can have. So you pop that there. Uh, a coal tender it needs, obviously. Otherwise, it'll have no coal. And uh, an ST10 wagon. Now, there's only really a point in putting one on, because, I mean, if you look at the coal mine itself, it only needs 40 workers. Now, the carriage... Oh, hang on. I've trained to a queue. The carriage there, ST10 wagon. Oh, hang on. How do I how do I get rid of that? I, I don't want to, here. Remove. There we go. Uh, the wagon can actually carry 40 people. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Passengers times 40. So, you know, there's no point wasting our money. Let's build that. There we go. That's building. 20 seconds, and that'll be all built. It's so control and R. Let's get a route set up. So this will be the Rotherham Coal Coal Passenger Service. Rotherham Coal Passenger, seeing as it won't fit to service on. So you're going to go to Rotherham Coal Mine, and then Rotherham Central. There we go. Uh, we're going to swap workers. Swap workers. And uh, wait for 20 seconds. There you go. Uh, the tutorial said that was a good idea. So, uh, yeah, there we go. You're on there. So we'll, we'll cross you off, control and R. And the train's here. Rotherham Cole Passenger. Off he goes. Look at that! We've got a train! I mean, it's it's kind of a bit ridiculous, because it's a massive kind of, oh my god, it's going to come off. Heck. There you know. Right, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea, because are they going to go around that way? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, right, okay, we'll just follow the train and see what he does. I've not got any signalling on, 
so um, we obviously need to oh hang on oh there you go time passed it tells you how far now of course having the trains wait at the stations means that uh, they're not on the network so it does just keep them off the network a little bit so that's good um, it also means that you can kind of time things to... I, I don't really know how the timing, how the spacing works. This is not something I've looked into too much. Do you know what? After we set this up, I really, really hope to God that like when the actual game comes out, or if they do send me a key for the full game, that like the demo version is compatible if you've got a save game going. I'll be gutted if, uh, if they're like, oh yeah, by the way, the, uh, the new version of the game, you... Uh, yeah, in the new version, your, your save game won't be compatible. Oh, I've been mortified. I mean, you can also press F1 if you want to, you know, if you just want to see the train, get rid of everything. Yeah, a bit of F1. And even if you zoom out, it kind of has this, it reminds me of, like, mini motorways. You can see your train, how long it is, how many carriages, and uh, and it all, you can just see your network from afar. Like that. See? I mean, look how far that train's been going. So this map isn't even the biggest map you can have. I mean, he's going round, so that's good. We'll just leave it with no signals for the time being, because, I mean, how many have you got waiting? You've got a few people. Uh, yeah, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's loading, look. He's absolutely loading. I mean, we've got enough time. Look, 10 out of 20. We're, we're cooking on gas. Look at that. So we're taking 40 people now. I mean, like I say, look how long the route is. There to there. Look how much map we've got to play with. And uh, and now we'll see in real time. The train's leaving. Look how far we've got to go. Items you've unlocked can be hidden by clicking left like mouse button. Okay, that's good. So we need to produce coal. That's going to happen. I think we need some storage though. I think could be wrong. A lot of what I've learnt, I uh, I was watching other YouTubers. And of course, what you've also got to bear in mind, look, is the time of day. You can actually make it night time, look. And it's the dead of night. You've got the light on. And uh, and you can see the lights in the carriages, which is pretty cool. We'll pop it back to 8am. And different times of day, look, the shadows are in different places. I mean, look at that. How cool. Oh, hang on, that goes back. How cool does that look? Look at that. Kind of got that evening glow to it. I mean, it's now 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Ish. Which is why this video's out quite late today. Oh, look at that, he's going round. So we'll leave it at three. There we go. Oh, hang on, what's happened? Lovely. So there we go, if we click on the industry, we're now producing coal. Brilliant. Let's actually get a bit of coal storage. We can have a maximum of four. So we'll pop you in there. Nope, pop you in there. Can we have more? No. There we go. We'll just pop the coal in there. We can actually... Uh, a train can pull up at the station as long as there are at least two rails parallel to the station. Ah, I've got you. Right, okay. However, wagons that do not have station platforms on either side will be unable to use the station. Okay, well, that's simple enough. I mean, that's good. That's good. Oh, look, they're actually... Look, they're, they're coaling. Coaling? I don't think that's a technical term. Uh, but they are coaling. Oh, that's absolutely ace. This is fantastic. I mean, look, the workers are clearly getting tired. Because uh, the workers will eventually be tired. And the train will come and pick them up. But that train is now whizzing all the way back there to pick up more workers. And it'll just swap them over. I mean, this, this is brilliant. This is early access, of course. But this has the potential to be fantastic. It really does. I'm really excited about this, actually. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited. I mean, if you look on the trailers, some of the rail networks are absolutely insane. I mean, because it's isometric, it's kind of got... I mean, look at the Open TTD networks, for instance, that we've built. I say what we've built. Uh, Open TTD never really took off on this channel, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, some of the Open TTD networks that I've built are just massive, and you've got trains everywhere. And this game really does kind of lend itself to that. So hopefully, I mean, when we're not playing the demo version, we'll be able to just have a massive network with trains everywhere. Wouldn't that be fantastic? Now, right, hang on. Where's my train? Uh, are you coming back? There he is.
Dunny looked pretty with his single carriage just chugging through the uh, the woodland. There's a lot of woodland here, isn't there, really? I keep using the 1, 2, and 3 button on the keyboard to try and speed it up and slow it down. It's absolutely not having any of it. There we go. Warehouse. Now, what can you actually store? You can store... Have you actually got 176 coal? Yeah, you have. Uh, the thing is, of course, on this, what you've got to think about is if we click this train here, it's only got 63% fuel, so these things can actually break down, which is nuts. So... That's why we need the coal storage, but like, if you look there, there's 600 coal waiting at coal mine. Uh, oh, hang on, is it? Is it? No, the, the actual station. There we go. So there's 155. So when this train gets eaten, if you look, hopefully it's going to take some of that coal. Hopefully. I mean, if it doesn't, then there's a problem, because it's going to break down. There you go. So he's stopping, and it goes back to 100%. And I've used some coal. So yeah, actually, uh, that's kind of a, a nice little... It's a nice little feature, and that is something that I am definitely going to forget. I'm going to break down. We can't build any more because we've not made any wood. So we need to actually get some wood. Oh, there we go. Ah, so this is all done. We need to reach 400 labourers. So we need wood, like, desperately. Desperately, desperately. So uh, let's build a sawmill. Coal mine, sawmill. Uh, processes trees into usable wood. The lumber they produce is used in building and maintaining most structures. Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll we'll pop you not close to there, and we can't put you too close to the village hall. So we're kind of a bit stuck with where we can put you. Uh, there's a lot of trees here, so we'll put you there. There we go, and uh, we shall. Uh, let's have another station, please. And we'll have the same again in terms of platforms. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you will be uh, Rotherham. Uh, sawmill. Lovely. Now, in terms of the actual... I, I don't know, like... You know, if we've got a couple of tracks here. Because you can have multiple platform stations. Uh, I don't know whether you have to actually assign the train a platform. Or whether uh, whether it just does what it wants. Now we're going to put you there. But that's not what we're using. Uh, we're going to have you run into there. Oh yeah, we are, we are using that. Right, you're going there. And you're going to shunt across like that. Look at that. And we're going to run a bit of two track. Because we need two tracks. I mean, look at that. It's uh, it's already getting to the point where we're needing to expand to two tracks. I mean, I always kind of knew it would do. Because I played a, a smidge of this before uh, before I opened it up. Uh, before I did a video. So, rail chain signals are what we need now. So, we're going to need one of them there. One of them there. One of them there there and just regular signals I'm going the other way and you can go there yeah is that what I want I don't know uh, hang on how do we delete a signal delete you please thank you so that should work possibly now there's a way that I can uh, I can can I Click it that. Oh, yeah, look, there we go. So, I can click there. Uh, hang on, got it. Yeah, I've got I've got the signal. And I can, I can kind of move my slider. To there, like that. And it'll do the signals for me. Look at that. The block sections are all different colours. I don't quite know why, but, uh, but they are. Uh, we need to delete some track as well in there. Just delete you. You're fine. Look at that. There we go. And we'll put a bit of you in there. A bit of you in there. Smash in. So now, hopefully, these will all go the correct way around. The signals are all good. So you're laughing. So what we need to do now is we need to go back up to the depot. And we need to buy another train. Add train to queue. Yeah, we'll just build another train identical. And we need another route. Control route. 
So that's the Rotherham Coal Passenger. Let's add another line. And you will be the, uh, the Rotherham Wood Passenger. And you're going to go from Rotherham Central through to Rotherham Sawmill. Now, have we got the right amount of people waiting here? 45 out of 135. That's not bad. And of course, don't forget, when we start producing wood, we're going to be able to uh, to be able to take... Uh, we'll be able to build more houses, which will then... Oh, what's, what, what are you whining about? Inhabitants cannot go to work without a station in range. Heck, uh, yeah. Sorry about that, inhabitants. Right, there we go. We've got a train. And you're going to Rotherham Wood Passenger. So we've got another train. Oh, he's going the right way as well. Look at that! Get rid of you. You're just going to follow our little train. Oh, I'm, I'm really happy with this. This is ace. Now, we'll see if our signalling works, because apparently you can actually have crashes on this if... Uh, if you don't do it properly. Yeah, look at the top. We've got a big, big exclamation mark saying there's no wood. Well, he's on the right track. Oh, look, there's another one there. Way. Smashy. Right, hang on. Yeah, keep going. How many people have we got waiting there now? Five? Oh, no, hang on. That might not work. Oh, but the other man on YouTube and it worked really well for. Oh, hang on. I didn't tell him what to do, did I? Oh, flipping heck. That's why. Right, hang on. So, swap workers on the wood passenger. Yeah, wait for 20 seconds. Both types, please. How many has he got in? Like, essentially the square root of bugger all. There we go, we'll, uh, oh, hang on a second, hang on, hang on, I'm panicking now, right, 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 nope, train's going, there we go, swapping workers, have you actually got anybody on now? Five people, great stuff, marvellous, uh, but that train, yeah, there's, there's a problem here, because that train isn't going to go and, and get coal. My lord. Right, okay, so I think what we need to do is, uh, this is coal storage, so we can put four of you in there. So how much coal can you store now? I mean, it says that you can, hang on. As long as trains have access to it, it will automatically refuel. So can we bring coal then down from here? Oh, I don't know. Right, hang on. Uh, yeah, get rid of you. Coal tender. Oh, no, not another one. Gondola wagon. One, two, three. How many can you carry? Uh, I don't know. There we go. Uh, top speed. Mass cargo, 22. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll buy you. Yeah, buy. Please, thank you. Oh, I am starting to panic. That other train's going to run out of fuel. I don't know what happens when it does... I've never quite got to that stage. Yeah. Right. Uh, you can be the Rotherham Coal Train. You're going to go to Rotherham Coal Mine and then to Rotherham Central. Now, what you're going to do there is load and unload there. Brilliant. Uh, wait for full cargo. No, 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 no. I don't think we can do that. Right, okay. Go. Rotherham Coal Train. I mean, he's green. He's a nice, pretty colour, isn't he? You've got a lot waiting, so that's good. Oh, the cargo should load as well. Okay, I can't help but notice you've gone without anybody on. Uh, that is a problem.
Oh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Do you know what? I'm going to leave it until next time. I'm going to try and find a workaround. If you do know, of course, please do let me know in the comments section. And uh, like I said, please do check out their uh, their Steam store page. Get it added into your wish list because this looks like it's going to be a great game. Uh, I've got a couple of things to figure out, like I say. Um, maybe I'm going to have to sell that train. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah. So, of course, let me know in the comments what you think of Sweet Transit, the early access. If it gets uh, if it gets a fairly good reception from you guys, then we shall, of course, continue. I mean, hell, surely you want to see what happens with this cold train. Uh, do click the like button. Of course, it helps the video do better. And again, if you did enjoy the video and you want more videos, the better it does, the more chance you, you are of seeing more videos. That's kind of how, you know, if I do a video and nobody watches it, I don't tend to do more of that video because, you know, it's silly to, to do that. You get what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, please do also make sure that if you enjoyed the video, you subscribe, because then you'll be notified uh, if you click the notification bell when new videos come out. Other than that, as I say, we'll follow this guy before the end. There we go. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.